Hello and welcome to the Blue Tweezers channel with um, your regular host Alan from the channel here. Hi everybody in the corner and uh, it's uh, one of our Rough and Blue specials here uh, with uh, my guest Rough Swordsman Wargamer. Um, Hi. Give up your clicks for uh, for Rough. <laughs> um, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, how's it, be, how, how's it going Rough, all right? Everything's good. Everything's um, good. After we had a good show last night with the war room with um, uh, Matt Matt White, and uh, you know, um, yeah, been good. Okay. Been good encounters today. So uh, yeah, all right. Ticket. I must admit, I do uh, I do remember that you were whinging a bit about um, whinging uh, about not having had a go. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that was quite funny. Yeah, that was quite funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all done, all done in the best. Uh, yes, I know. Possible yeah. taste, as Indeed. Kenny used to say. Anyway. Yeah. Well, okay. So I'm going to try and make sure you don't get a go this game, <laughs> this, this episode. As well. <laughs> I'm sure I can dream up some kind of rules on this. Um, anyway, for um, uh, for those not in the know. Uh, um, we are doing uh, the uh, Great Battles of the American Civil War, Death Valley from GMT Games, um, the uh, Battle of Rutherford's Farm. I know it says in the corner the Th Battle of Third Winchester, which was a battle that happened just after this. It's like a, a um, preliminary uh, battle. It was a few, actually, it was about a couple of weeks earlier, but um, you know, it's close enough for me anyway yeah. to make the excuse. Um, so, yeah, I've done all my. Uh, all my uh, posts out and things like that um, and uh, where else where else are we going again sorry just uh, <coughs> trying to uh, sort myself out um, uh, crossings back uh, uh, mr. regular here um, yeah you've uh, been back for uh, all of uh, all of the recent um, live streams especially the ones that don't work properly um, <laughs> so uh, Rough, if you didn't know, on uh, on Wednesday, um, Vassal crashed. Oh, uh, what few minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're about half, half an hour. Uh, we were about half an hour in. Twenty five minutes it, uh, of the half an hour had me been um, speculating on the meaning of a rule, um, which bored everybody to tears. And then Vassal crashed as soon as we started, so we saw very little of that. And then uh, we rescheduled for Friday. And then my opponent Jordan, his dog was taken ill last minute and he had to rush off to the vets so, oh crikey so i then had to turn <laughs> the uh the napoleonic live stream uh the osg um library of napoleonic battles um into a uh into a solo pericles live stream instead oh right just okay. on the uh just on the uh um on, on the you know i was gonna say a roll of the dice but um yeah just on the <laughs> on on the uh on, on the vomit from a dog, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever, and uh, had to uh, had to twist twist around and pivot onto uh, Pericles, which I'm sure confused everybody, and I'm still trying to change that uh, that video into a Pericles video in YouTube rather than it looking still like an Napoleonic one. So it hasn't been a good week. <laughs> no, no, they take a long, they take a little while. If you change the thumbnail, it takes a a while for it, for it to recognize it i think yeah well what uh, i did is i, I i've i've edited the front of it so they don't we don't have all this sort of messing around trying to wait for jordan stuff went straight into pericles but once you do that it then has to reprocess it and it doesn't allow you to change anything else so i've had mm. to sit here and um, not do anything with it but anyway um oh, well. all this Fairy incredibly stuff. riveting chat um <laughs> you've all you've all come to see us uh um, uh, lots of lots of rebels and Yankees shooting each other, at each other um, with uh, uh, with the Death Valley here and um, uh, Camp. Hi, um, not sure if you're new to the channel, but uh, welcome. Uh, if you've seen us before, then great. Um, keep coming here. Um, I crossing, you're going to jinx everything. Yeah, cross, is yeah crossing is a jinx here. Something, something's going to go wrong, wrong now. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I thought. Camp Toya was last week helping us out with the rules. If I'm oh, that's, are you possibly yes, yeah, possibly. My memory is um, yeah, not that good on these things. So apologies if you were here before. And apologies um, if you weren't. So and apologies <laughs> if you weren't. Uh, well, just just general apologies. Just uh, yeah, apologies. Sorry. 
Uh, so apolog- yeah. <laughs> we're apologising for living here you know, and broadcasting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go and watch something else. It's probably oh, going to oh, be oh. More, more entertaining. Uh, Ole, what's happening? Yeah, because you're quite right, there is no sequence of play card. There is no sequence of play, indeed. So I'm just going to go and get my copy of the rules so I can right, see yes. Well, I believe we're in the middle of the activation phase. And um, in the are. activation segment, or the activation phase of the activation segment. Lots of activity. Oh! So, um, so far on this turn, I've had two activations. One, because I had the initiative, because the game gave, gives me the initiative at the start. And then we pulled a chit out the cup, and it was mine as well. Um, uh-huh. So there's um, so two chits to me. Uh, they're sitting on the map here. Uh, everybody should be able to see. And uh, yeah, so um, I think we've done those two activations. So I think we're back at the chit cup to pick who's next. Um, and now we've got to try and find out where the chit pool thing is. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, chip pull at the top yeah, question yeah. mark. Chip pull question mark. So, do you want to do you want to pull pull a chip? And if I go again, it's your fault. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, crikey! It's you. Me again? Look, there we are. Second cab. All right. Okay. Um, so this is interesting now. So do do I want another activation? Oh yeah, yeah. Because, because the third activation, yeah. it will it will um. Uh, it will be, um, yeah, it will cause some fatigue. Uh, now I am, uh, I am fatigueless at the moment. Um, so if I did, then I would go to, uh, fatigue. Okay. I'll just check that. that that's what I'm doing. And Is that, yeah, that's all those of second cab. Yeah. Yes. But seeing as where I am and what I'm doing, I'll only be firing. So I'm not convinced I need to do this, but I don't think fatigue is going to be much of a problem for me because there's not that many turns in the game. Um, let me just have a look and check uh, what we do here, uh, just so I don't get it wrong. So, 17. It's rightly, it's actually an optional rule, but are they advised to play it in, <coughs> on, in Death Valley, I think it is. Uh, okay, so... Yes, I saw that. It's, it's an optional rule in the series rules, but not yeah. in the battle books. That's right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I would go to Fatigue OK um, if I did uh, that. Hmm, interesting thought. Or should I? Uh, how many turns do we have in this game again? It's not that many. This actual... Um, Rutherford's farm is 1,500 to 1,900. So, well, that's four turns, five turns, is it? Four turns. Uh, just looking up. Uh, where is the turn chart? Yeah. Sorry, I was mixing up my games. The turn chart is... Uh, I don't know where the turn chart is. Um, we're on 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So five turns, five turns. Oh, yeah. So, okay. um, actually, probably not then. I won't. I won't uh, activate. Okay. So back to chip pool. Right. Okay. It's you again. Okay. <laughs> I've got my counters in here. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. No. Okay. No. So over to you. Again. All right. you, have you pulled one of mine out? That's a physical impossibility. Oh, oh, oh. I only have four. Ray. So there you go. <clears throat> so you can't you can't winch to the war room anymore. You've got an activation. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's uh, let's step through this for you. Yeah. Um. So you have uh, da, da, da. okay. So the first thing um, to do is change orders phase. So currently, 
Lewis, Lewis's brigade, which is the right? second second of the second division. Oh, right. yeah. your, sec yeah, your second brigade is on attack <coughs> orders. Johnston yeah. is on attack orders. Um, Lily is in reserve orders. Yeah. And Vaughan and Jackson are on advance orders. Okay, so just running through what that means. Yeah. So um, advance orders are um, you can move or you can fire, but you can't do both. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can change facing one vertex. That's not considered moving. Mm -hmm. um, you, if you do move, you move your full mount, uh, movement allowance. Um, but you cannot uh, move next to an enemy combat unit other than artillery. Okay, so you can't close. You can't go into um, yeah. close combat. Or yeah. What do they call? <clears throat> if you're firing, you could get what's known as a prepared fire bonus. Um, you may undertake uh, construction, although you probably won't bother. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for your your particular activation on an attack order. You may only you can uh, you can move and or fire, so you can move and fire if you want, but you only get half movement. Um, you can gain prepared fire bonus if you want to. Um, you can do an infantry char get an infantry charge bonus. This is a version of shock combat. Right. Um, if you're cavalry, you can charge. Um, you can't do any construction. And you can't retreat before shock, but you can do shock combat. All right. Uh, and reserve. Uh, basically, you sit there from turn and you remove a fatigue. Okay. So those are your three. Hours. So um, you can do a march option, but there's no point in you doing a march option. That's for road movement, and right. okay. it's not really relevant for this for this battle. So. So Lily. Oh, he's got fatigue one. That's why he's in uh, yeah. reserve. Right. Yeah, and he's sitting behind, so he's far enough away to be able to go into reserve. Yeah, there's a there's a distance restriction. So, um, I mean, you could, you could pull him out of that, but then, yeah, well, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, right. So, but of course, it's, this is brigade orders change, so it's not definite you'll do something anyway. But as I say, do do you want to change any of these orders? So, cavalry's um, advance. The... Your front line of infantry is attack. That chit is applicable to what units? So that's to your entire force. So everything is underneath Ramza, and Ramza is second division of the Army of uh, Army of the Valley. So that's right. his chit. So he is a division commander, but he's got a division and, and a bit and, and oh, some I cavalry yes. attack, attack to him. Yeah. 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 So normally there's corps commanders <laughs> and army commanders and stuff. Um, but effectively, we have two divisions which are fighting it out. Okay. Um, can I soften up with the the artillery? Of course you can. Yeah, on on What's either a, on either attack or advance, you can do that. Right. So we'll we'll attack the farm. Okay, so you, you're staying with the orders that you've got for Johnston and Lewis, yeah? To do an yeah, attack. we're going to attack. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I say Johnston. You should be all right, even with that. Yeah, um, yeah, it should be all right. Remember, it's the, the half movement is the is the annoying bit, um, because you know you've only, you've only got three movement points. But if you're happy with that, that's fine. Um, um, so okay. Um, yeah, so that's uh, <clears throat> this is a say for instance that where Johnston is. If I yeah. were to advance you into that clear hex, but it, that has a contour line around it. Yeah, um, that's you're on the higher ground, so you don't have to worry about it. But we're coming downhill. And right. you'd be coming, you you would be coming downhill. Yes. Um, so that way, you should be able to get. The only problem is probably the twentieth North Carolina, right on the end of the line. He's got three movement points on attack, and he won't be able to get to anybody. Hold on, trying to find him. He's right down on on, on the end, the sort of sort of south south. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. The yeah, North yeah. Carolina, yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay, but um, yes, fine. So uh, 
Right, so now, uh, so if you don't want to change any orders, now you get choose if you want to coordinate your brigades. So if you All don't right. do this, I will say, right, activate a brigade. So this will be Lewis or Johnston, well, it won't be Lily, um, or Vaughan or Jackson, and you have to move and fight with their units before you choose another brigade. Well, if you do a coordination, then you can basically bolt brigades together so that they, yeah. you you can move and fight with all of those troops of both brigades at the same time okay if you mm. do you need to roll on the brigade coordination table um which uh you uh oh so if you if you look at that uh the brigade yep. coordination table <clears throat> so you could get a fail you could get a confusion which means that nobody moves. <laughs> right. Um, two or three is the number of brigades. So if, if you were doing Johnston and Lewis together, two or three would be good or all would be good. So from a seven upwards would be good. And the advantage of that over doing them individually is, it sounds like it's an advantage because there's a table for it. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've never been that convinced, although I haven't played a lot of GBACW, a huge amount. So... Um, I'm not sure it's that useful for you in this instance, but m maybe it means that. So, for example, you could take the Sixth North Carolina, which is next to Ramsar, which is Lewis's sort of southeast most uh, yeah. unit. You could move up to Rutherford's Farm and attack, yeah, and then you could move yeah. the Twelfth North Carolina under Johnston and move up and attack the farm as well. Meanwhile, all the other units haven't done anything yet so you've used two units from two brigades to do to attack once and attack twice um before you moved the rest of it because you've got a coordination between the brigades and they're effectively one big brigade so you can sort of see how it's going before you commit yeah so unit. some sometimes you you uh, I, I think uh you you have brigades next to each other and they both want to push at the same time and maybe yeah. a coordination will help so that you don't have to go 6th North Carolina, then 21st, then twenty, uh, the 2nd sharp, Sharpshooters, then 54th North. All of you, if Lewis's guys move and fight, and then when they've all done, you then switch over to Johnston and do all his units. Yeah. So um, it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, um, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm not giving you advice. Yeah, I can't, I can't I've, I've never it. used it in my replays or my little playthroughs and stuff. I've never yeah. bothered to use it. <clears throat> Unless I'm told otherwise, I can't really see the point of it. No. Um, um, your uh, your division back. leader has a zero division coordination rating, so it'll just be on the dice roll. There's no modifier if you want to do this. And I might get confusion. I, don't, I won't get any anything at all. Uh, yeah, that's correct, yes. Yeah, and, and I'll give you something to moan about next week in the war room. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, two or less, and both of your brigades yeah. sit there and don't do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, we'll we'll forego that just in case. No, that's fine. We'll I, just... I don't think it's going to be that much of help anyway. No, um, no, I, so, I, can, so... I can see where it would be. Um, yep. It was a, a larger battle, and you wanted to okay. do things at the same time. Um, with different brigades so yeah i could see see what it's uh it's, okay. it could be useful so in the action fight so so if you're not coordinating then in the action phase uh you activate a brigade um to do its current orders and then in with each unit you can then do <coughs> one or two thing one of two things you can move and fire and you can shot combat or you can resupply ammo, or you can rally, or you can, can try and construct things, although you can't because you're in attack orders. You can't no. construct, okay? So... Um, Kevin has said it's not a good thing to do at this point, and it's handy to overwhelm a small force. Yeah, sure. I've, I, I, I don't see a huge, yeah, huge point I, I in can't. it for the risk, certainly, especially if you don't have a coordination bonus on your divisional leader. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a risk for I'm not sure it's it's great it's a great game. Um no. uh, so. anyway, so uh yeah, so which brigade are you getting? Johnston's brigade, Lewis's brigade, or Vaughan or Jackson? First. Who's controlling the artillery? 
Uh, right, the artillery is... Um, I think that can activate in any of the brigades, I think. Uh, artillery command. It's Amherst, isn't it? Uh, the artillery, yes. So the artillery is part of the division. So they will activate. But I think you can choose um, exactly when they do things. Effectively, they're, I think that they're kind of their own brigade, if you see what I mean. Hmm. <coughs> so I can so activate I them now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you're there is a damage marker on one of them. Is that the second one down? Uh, no, it's on the top one. Ah, it's the one that's dis disrupted. It's, dis yeah. it's disrupted. So it, so the guy on the top can't fire. All right, because he's I can disrupted. Give them individual orders. Yeah, you, he could attempt to rally. That's what I was going to say. Can I attempt to rally that one and fire with the others? Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's let's just go through that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, with artillery. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, so what you need to do is you need to move an artillery unit that you want to fire to the top of the stack. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, however, you may you should be able to fire. Um, what was the limit again? It's um, you could fire. You could fire up to twelve guns. Uh, so, well, I've only got five left. It's, yes, it's the first number, isn't it? It's only got, I've only got five. Yeah. Um, so, um, so, but I, I, I do think rally... you'll need to move the guys up the stack, I would have thought. Um, or certainly oh, it's a good idea. Up. Right. So I'm rallying the top unit, so I don't keep him on the top. And when he's rallied, then I move another unit to the top because I'm going to fire that one. Yeah. Is that what we do or not? Sorry, hang or on. Or do I make... Sean, you're looking up something, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll shut up then. <clears throat> well. Uh, this is certainly good. Hi, Peter. Trying to follow along while watching the baseball game. That's rounders, isn't it? Yeah. Go Blue Jays. Oh, yeah, I'm a Blue Jays fan as well. Oh yeah, huh. Yeah. No need to change the stacking order, says Camp Sawyer. No? Okay, fair enough. Valid unit will not shoot though. Yeah. Yeah, no, he won't shoot, certainly. Um okay. Well then yeah, you can fire with the other two then. So choose your target. So I keep them as they are in the stack, yeah, and um, fire. You can. Um I'm just wondering if that's a good idea because then your disrupted unit is the one that's going to take any return fire. Right. Um, when do I do, I do the rally first? Uh, you can do the rally first, absolutely. Um, but then he can't fire. That All he did was rally. But yeah, you yeah. can do it first. So you and need I've to roll a... against his effectiveness, which is the middle number. Right. But if he doesn't rally, then he's going to get the brunt of return fire, isn't he? So it's best to move the others to the top. Uh, yes. Um, I'm just wondering, if you do move them, is there a... A Is penalty. there a detriment, a penalty to your fire? Um, probably not. Artillery became the top unit during the phase. 1061. Yeah, let's have a quick look. So there's no need to change the um, stacking order, but I'm just wondering what you said, that if there's return fire, that's the, the unit on the top of the stack gets hit. Yeah. This must be what, oh yeah, like, no, it doesn't matter. It's it's only relevant for non-artillery, so carry on. It's fine. Fine. As far as I can right. tell, it's fine. 
Okay. So we'll try and rally this chap first. So how do we go about that? So rally. Uh, so you roll against his effectiveness, which is his middle number, which is five. For so we're just rolling five or less. Yeah, for the Georgia regular B. Yeah. That's, uh, five. Nine. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> God. That didn't work. No, that didn't work. I, I tell you what, I'm going to roll my own dice, I think, and uh, get a little camera set up so you can see see <laughs> my dice my dice tower because I don't trust this thing. Get some gravity That's dice. All. Gravity get dice. Get some gravity dice. Yes, yeah. get Tony. Yeah, yeah. Only fifty dollars. I'll, I'll yeah. get get. I'll get Tony on the uh, on the live stream and he can roll the dice for you with his gravity you can roll dice. The dice. And yeah. I will trust the gravity dice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust these ones. Right, so he's he's been and done and uh, no good. Yeah, at all. okay. So I'm so... going to fire on the. What have we got in the? We've got a unit that's nearly gone. Yeah, so you fire <coughs> fire at the hex. Um, with with well, the Rutherford's farm. Yeah. Yeah. So you you just fire at the hex and the top unit. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. yeah. Takes I've it, seen so... it. We've got a unit there that's nearly. Yeah. Done. So top top unit is actually my artillery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go for that because I want to knock out your artillery. Okay. Um, so right. So um, you're at two hex range and you are Napoleon cannon. So Napoleon cannon at two hex range is yep. a plus two. Um, there's no particular defence from the farm. So I okay. believe that uh, it's five strength. It's five steps of artillery, four yeah. plus one. So you're on a four to five small arms table because you're within close range, and uh, you got a plus two on the dice. I don't think right, there's anything go. else that really affects. Are you? Oh, oh, there's, actually, stuff here, there? there is. Um, actually, no. You've got plus three because you're. At, I'm actually at a lower level than you. So you're at plus three, actually. That's Four. something I've got to get my head around when I read the rules. Is this uh, lever? There's lots of it in this, isn't there? So uh, nothing else is there. So plus three. You oh, say. hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Camp says something here. Rolling a nine on a rally has the loss of gun. Is that right? What? Look, Camp. Can you can you just keep it to yourself? Yeah, please? Just, yeah shut up. Yeah, no. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Uh, rally, 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 rally. Uh, let me just check on that. No, I'm sure he's uh, right, yeah. but um, oh, and okay. thank you, Camp Sawyer. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, on an adjusted nine or higher, regardless yeah. of the unit's cohesion, it remains disordered and loses one strength point. Um, so he is only on one strength point, so he's dead. Yes, yes. So, uh, is that um, what do you mean? So the yeah, so you lose a strength point and you remain disordered, but you only have one strength point on Georgia reg, uh, regulars B. Oh, I see. So there's a, there's a one underneath him, so he actually yeah. disintegrates. So I get rid of him. Yes. Not um, nice. There we go. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about oh. the top unit anymore. It's not there anymore. Oh. So. <clears throat> right. I, I, are you sure you want to go in? There? <laughs> That was uh, just a rally, it wasn't even fun. That was just rally, exactly, yeah, they just had enough. Um, so we're on four to five in the small arms. Yeah, plus three. Come on, plus good three. Roll. Plus Come three. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Three. Six. Listen, at these dice, they go, no, we gave him a nine last time. We better give him a low number this time. Okay, so that's a D plus one. So I need to roll against a seven with a plus one on the dice for my uh, effectiveness check. So I roll. A oh, nine, I fail. Okay. So, oh, good. So my artillery is disordered. Uh, flip, 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 flip. And again, that's because it's the top unit, yeah? Yes. And uh, because he is disordered, uh, I believe the guy beneath him has to take a check as well. Oh, it, it flows down, does it? I think so. Uh, sorry if I'm not au uh, uh, fait on this. Um Oh, 
That's all right. That's all right, Camp Sawyer. That's fine. I'm joking. <laughs> Them's the rules. Uh, I think it's a stacking thing, isn't it? Uh, stacking, stacking. Stay in combat. You're just seeing if uh, there's a, a sort of filtered down effect. Um, if top unit suffers fire table results, however, it's eliminated or suffers a first or second disorder, the player must un uh, must undertake a uh, disorder roll for all other units in the hex. So yes, uh, I was right. Okay. So the so the ninety first Ohio, which is a seven, has to take a normal disorder. There's no plus one on this. Right. It's only for the top unit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just. Just. Oh, you Jemmy what's name? Yeah. You Jemmy Dodger. Absolutely. Um, okay. So you fired your artillery. Um, you. Uh, it, it didn't. It didn't affect. You could actually declare rapid fire, which mm -hmm. means you can fire twice. Um, but a zero, a five, or a ten would mean you get an ammo depletion marker, as opposed to just a five. Um, you, you didn't last time, so you could freely declare it now, if you wanted to rapid fire. Uh, yes, let's go for it. Okay. So, Is it still with a plus three? Uh, yep, yeah, it's still exactly the same fire, indeed. I must not throw a zero, a five, or a... What is it? Yeah, I think that's with a... Um, I think that's modified, I think, isn't it? Um... Yeah, that actually makes you out of ammo, not just depleted. That's the other thing. Yes. No, no, you will need to re resupply. Um, so there's three states of ammo. So there's normal ammo, there's yeah. ammo depletion, and there's out of ammo. Right. So okay. ammo depletion gives you a negative modifier. Out of ammo means you can't fire. So if you do a rapid okay. fire and you get a depletion result, you actually go straight to out of ammo. And if you do so an ammo I'm... resupply, you go back up to ammo depleted. So you'd have to right. resupply yeah. twice to get back to the normal. Yeah. So what do I need, not need to throw for that? Uh, so it's a zero, a five, and a ten. I'm just going to check whether it's um, it's uh, modified or not. I don't think it. I think it is um, modified. Do, 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 do. Rapid fire. Right. Yeah, it's adjusted. So, so you got a plus three, so you're unlikely to get a zero. Um, right. So it's a five or a ten. Uh, you're oh, about. here we go. In for a penny, in for a pound. Okay. Plus three. Eight, Eight. is eleven. Oh, so <laughs> just missed it. That's fine. Uh, we're on the four to five, aren't we? Yeah, so that's a one and a D. Ooh. So that is automatic disorder. Yes. Um actually I wanna just check I mean, I don't think I get a return fire with artillery. Just want to make well, you're sure. Well, you're disordered, aren't you? You can't fire. Uh, that's true, anyway. Yeah, it's only infantry or cavalry units can fire back in return fire. Yes. Yeah, not artillery. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so he's automatically disordered. So that's he needs to uh, look at the second disorder table. Because he's he's already disordered, right? Yes. So. Um, so that disorder table is. Okay. Yeah, I'll just see if I can bring that up. Uh... See, I love, I don't know about everybody else, but I, I love random events and I love games with lots of okay, player aids and um, charts and tables. Yeah, I actually haven't, haven't got that available. But so we look for okay. second disorder and what, what caused it. So um, we run down and we go to the fire table. Which is like the fifth. So we're looking at that. Yes, yes, indeed. So it's the fifth table, uh, fifth line. So fire table, and we're looking at artillery. 
So artillery, the result is lose one gun. So he, he got a 1D result, so he lost one gun, and then because it was a second disorder, he lost another one. So they're two guns down. Oh, I like so, the that. Um, I'm just going to flip him back to see how many he had. He had six, so he's now on six, four. Yeah. So this is a bit of, an, a bit of a bloody artillery duel here, isn't it? Um, well, I'm afraid, you know, we were expecting you not to be quite so far forward. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, uh, right. Uh, sorry, I need to get a mark. I don't know. Um, do I, does it give me one? <clears throat> no. Uh, okay. Need to find one. Okay, markers. Strength point. There we go. So, uh, so flip the control. Nope. That'll do. Yeah. Right. Five. Um, oh, bollocks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've just demonetized us and we're not kid friendly anymore. There you go. Uh, I can't flip it back. Um, hang on. Let's, let's just go through it again. Oh, bloody hell. Looking? One, two, three, four. Oh. Should be a four. So oh. um, let's just stack that on that. Uh, get Duval out of the way and put him. Uh, but that's the problem of sticking the artillery in the front line. It's going to get hit. Yeah, yeah. And because no. they're dangerous and they need to be got rid of. Mm. So, uh, okay, so, uh, and um, the other, the guy underneath has to check again. So he's on a seven. Right, I see. Two, he's all right. Oh. Okay, so Dang. that's your right. rapid fire from your cannon. So your cannons are used for your act for this activation. So, um, so which, which, which brigade are you activating first? Well, we could try just cause. Uh, oh, mind you, that's uh, disorganised. Fifty seventh uh, sharp. No, sorry, the sharp shooters are a disorder. Uh, yeah, is it disorganised or disrupted? I can never remember. Uh, they both. Um, uh, yeah, that's right. The guy, under, guys underneath, aren't. No. So, um, so, but if you want to do anything, you have to act activate Lewis's brigade. Okay, so, so we'll you're doing activate... Lewis's stuff. Lewis's brigade, and that's yep. the. Uh, that's all the guys with the pink, um, middle, middle number. Oh, middle number pink. Oh, I see. That's how we look at them, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. pink. Imagine he's got a pink. Yeah, pink Lewis has got a pink. Um, pink, pink stripe. Stripe there the as well. Yeah, yeah. So right, five units there. Dang, damn it! This okay. color blindness. So right. you're, you're on, so you can attack. So. Um, I'm presuming you're not going to. Well, you might rally the sharpshooters, but the other guys, you can move and fire. Uh, and and shock. Uh, uh and um, move and uh, um, and shock. Yes, yeah. When they go, Jason. Actually, um, so, Camp, Camp's got a good good thing. I need to roll for the leader okay. as well. Um, okay. So right. was, there was two. Uh, so he takes. He rolls for the loss because of the fire combat. Does he roll for the second disorder? Um, uh, leaders. <coughs> Can we get rid of those liners? Uh, those movement things. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, they are annoying. There we go. Ah, lovely. What did you do? Uh, there's a little move button right at the end of the list. Oh, so that's the, yes, I remember you saying. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so you're checking to see how many times the leader has to check. Yeah, we only it should only be once. So if there's one or more step losses, well, again... Yeah, so he just ha he just has a roll. 
Um, and what's the role you've got to so it, roll? It, it, um, if it's a zero, um, he's killed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, like great battles yeah, of, so, uh, of history. Yeah, so roll, it's a six, so he didn't. Okay, right. Yeah. So, this disrupted sharp shooter yes. can do stuff. Uh, he can, yes. So even though you're disordered, you can still do something as inv infantry. Um, the um, the artillery can't fire, but the sharpshooters can. If you note that they've got uh, actually their their effectiveness level is usually an eight. So oh, now so it's I'm down just to gonna, seven. I'm just going to flip him to have a look. Yeah, eight. Um, so he's only gone down. Now he won't be able to move voluntarily adjacent to the enemy, so he can't. He won't be able to shock and move up, be okay? Because, because he's, he's disordered. Yes. Disordered. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Well, uh, but he, he can. He's got a minus one on uh, his shooting as well because he's disordered. Well, it doesn't show on there. Right. Okay. Um, well, let's try and rally him then. I, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. You've got another check coming. You've got another activation coming, so should be all right. He says. So he's on a seven. So Lewis isn't stacked with him, so he doesn't make any difference. So it's just a seven. So seven or less, yeah? Yeah. Good. There you go. They're back. So, but he's done for the for the day activation. Now, he? He's done for the activation, yes. That's, that his so. act, activity was rally. So right. now you've got the four other um, regiments. The yeah, North I just want to try County. and get try and get that on top. That's it. So he's on top. Can I right. do that? Y yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that's okay. I'm assuming you're going to move him as well. Anyway. Yeah. So now you can you can try and close. So I can make now. Are you going to do fire when I start getting near you? So if you fire at me, I can return fire. Right. Okay. <clears> infantry. I can move. If and you, then fire. You can move indeed, and uh, you can you can then fire. Um, and. Uh, but is it is it like great battles of history? Once you fire, that's it. You're done. Uh, yes. If, yeah. Uh, right. Well, you can then do a shock. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I can't move, fire, move. Uh, no, that's right. Uh, well, I, um, can you? Uh, yeah, actually, I think you might be able to. Oh, oh crikey. So it's not like Great Battles of History, then. Um, I think. not. Um, you, yeah, just checking, just checking. Um, I'll be completely wrong. I'm, I'm thinking of Medivine, I think. Oh, we've gone... Oh, let me just refresh that. I'm hoping it's my YouTube and not us gone dead. No, we're fine. It's just my... Uh... Yes, move, fire, move, uh, Camp yeah. Sawyer said. Yeah, I can't see any reason why you can't. So yes, you you could do that. So, uh, but I when could... you fire, I can return fire, and it's classed right. as simultaneous. <clears throat> yeah. So I could move one to close range. Yes. Fire. Yes. We'd both fire. And then if we yeah. if I survive that, I can move in again for shock. Yes, if you're not disordered, that's right. Or yeah. you can move straight in to one hex away. Then you fire. fire, then I fire. Ah, right. Then, then when you do a shock against me, I will fire at you again at the start of shock. I've just yeah, I'm just okay. looking at your strength though. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my guys are bigger than yours. Yeah, it, most of, mostly oh. indeed. I've got less units, but they're they're chunkier. They're big old boys, aren't they? Yeah, because so, this chunk. this Confederate army has has been has been through a bit recently so they've, yeah. they've had a lot of losses hmm hey wardrobe's here 
Todd, how are you doing? Yeah, Todd. Um, All right. Stacking, stacking. I can't stack any more on top, can I? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. So stacking, uh, you can stack. Uh, so the stacking limits for uh, for attack orders is quite generous, I think. Because what you want to do is you want a mass of people yeah. moving in if you're going to do shock. Um, well, I want a big pile, a big stack coming in rather than spread yeah. out across a So a seven, seven, seven SPs can fire out of a hex. Um, oh, that's right, yes. And uh, with... Fifteen SPs for attack orders. Yeah trying to look at it and it's, uh, it's difficult to see you know which do you check orders do you check stacking um it says you must obey stacking limits but i can't it doesn't then say what those are stacking limits are or a reference uh so not, oh here we go orders comparison right, so right. 15 sps um for attack or advance orders yes so you can stack up to 15 but, but only seven fire. seven can fire well, right, so there's no point in going over seven. Well, um, everybody, I think, so up to 15 will count for the shock, though. Ah, right. I believe. Okay. So adjacent infantry and or dismounted cavalry may combine, you, but they have to be adjacent, so you don't have to stack them anyway. Um, uh, ah, but that's only if you're a single extended line unit, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. What does that mean? Um, so if you're, you're you're the same regiment, but you're stacked in two hexes because you're too big, then they move together forward. They're as if they're one sort of giant unit, and they will attack together. Um, I don't believe... I've, I haven't got one like that, have I? Jason Infantry on a dismounted cavalry may combine... That doesn't make any sense to me because you move unit by unit. Uh... Ah, okay, so I think shock is shock at the end of your. Uh... Him, Davis, look after. Camp David at Camp Sawyer says, Look under orders, there's a, a chart. Yeah, I don't envy you this, uh, please. Trying to teach me this because it's a bit complex. Uh, I'm rather good. I'm just looking at the shock eligibility here. What I want to do is move my units and stack them, fire, and then shock. Okay, shock is resolved after all movement and fire is completed by units of that brigade. Yeah. Okay, so you move all of the brigade, you do your move and fire, and then when everybody's done, you can then do shock. So that's how you can combine uh, adjacent right. units. Yeah. So, for instance... Yeah, this... so you don't have to stack... 
Um, but everything in the hex would st would would count for shock anyway. Hmm. So if I move, say this fifty seventh, uh, what is that? What's, I don't know. Fifty seventh North Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. If I moved in, for instance, here. Okay. First, you have to change facing because you're going sideways there. So well, they're coming point... down. They're sort of doing a slip. They're doing a what do they call it. Um... Yeah, you can only move into the front two hexes. Oh. So you would have they to can't twist. Come down sideways, like yeah, they, they can, but up. you just have to you just have to reorient. You have to change facing. You can change one one, one hex right. spine. So just move that. I was yeah. Being a bit you can't you can't crab along. Um, you can that's turn and thinking. move. Yeah. Chasse. It's called a chasse. They were chasseing down the hill. We can't do that, can we? <laughs> yeah. No, because no. they're not because they're not chasseurs. Oh, ah. yeah. All right. now sorry, they have to. It's got to be. A, That's worth a, a the point. entire live stream, isn't it, audience? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It's so, got to be. Got to be at a pointy bit. It does have to be at the pointy bit. Right. right. <laughs> Technical term. So, it's actually in the rules. Pointy bit. That's fine. Now let's okay. just bug it up the movement because I want to move into two three zero eight. Why can't you go into two three zero eight? They're in. It's I, one of your frontal hexes now. Yeah, I know, but it's the same unit. So what's wrong with that? Now I have to change facing again, don't I? Uh, I believe because you can, but you don't have to. What? Why? Why would you have to? Because I'm not facing you. Yes, you are. It's facing two, the you, ninth. Yeah, your your frontal what's... hexes are twenty four zero eight and twenty four zero seven, where I am. Oh, okay, right. Yes, yeah, so it's the right. two hexes in front of you. It's always two hexes. Yeah. And I gotcha. Yeah. I got so, you. so right. 2307 is not your front. It's your flank. Yes, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then when I want to move down the 21st North Carolina on top of it. Yeah. Is it kept like that? Uh, no, you have to honour the facing. So you can move in, and then you have to move him to match the facing, because he's right, the guy okay. you're moving now. Yeah. So we'll do that, and we get a free we get a free yeah. facing change. Yes. yes. Like that. So that's. Oh, hold on. That's Just five. <clears throat> and then I want to move this one in. Forty. So oh, hold on. Uh, pre shock just making sure I'm not n n not missing anything here uh, yeah yeah I think I think that's it yeah Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, and I want to move yeah. the sixth North Carolina yeah. there. Okay. And we're going to just uh, one, two. Yeah. And we've got a total of ten there now. Yes. I'll, I'll fire at your North uh, Ninth West Virginian Brigade. Okay. So you so you can only have seven steps firing out of the hex, right? Okay. Uh, but that goes for you as well, doesn't it? Indeed, it does. Yes. Right. So a maximum debris. Yeah. Another now there. Uh, this is not the case here, but with the return fire. Um, yeah. So, uh, say for example, uh, the fourteenth West Virginia wasn't disrupted, right, and was also facing you, yeah, he was facing the other way. Huh? Um, he could return fire as well because, because they're he, adjacent. Uh, because yeah, they're they're adjacent to the to the to to the unit you fired at, and also there's nobody in front of him. Okay. So it's not relevant in this, but just oh, let you know. Yeah. A, it heads to the what yeah. would be his right. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but it's not relevant for this. So, so okay. we now we now trade fire. So you have a seven. Uh, I am. A, I don't think I'm in any terrain. Uh, let's show hide. No, nope, I'm in clear. Um, so that's seven. You have rifles because you got the R symbol. So rifles at one hex. Uh, rifle muskets at one hex is a plus one. Um, I don't think there's any other uh, any other modifiers. Um, plus one, yeah. You could do prepared fire. Um, so I'll have to look up exactly how we do that. Where is that on? It's, it, it's not on one of these charts, is it? Um, so with prepared fire, it's reduced range. Oh, here I have match prep. Oh, 1051. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it gives you an extra plus one. So, um, What's <sighs> prepared fire? Prepared yeah, fire plus range plus for one. rifle musket is one hex. So yes, at one hex you can do prepared fire, but so can I. And that, there's so, no other sort of downside to it. You no. would do this all the time, then, wouldn't you? No. If you're one hex away, you would do prepared fire. Yeah, exactly. So so um, yeah. plus one. Indeed. So you're deliberately standing and all in a line and going bang. I suppose rather than yeah. further away, that wouldn't be the case. Can you do prepared fire as return fire, or yes. is it more? So? Yes. All oh, right. Again, at one hex range, so we'll both get a plus one here. Uh, we'll be right. plus two because I've got rifles as well. So we're both on the uh, seven plus two. Charged. Hold on, you've got. What have you got then? You've got uh, rifles. Oh, I see. Yeah. Same as me. Yeah. All right. So yeah. it, it's it's the same thing. Yeah. Rifled musket. So we've got a plus oh, hang one. On. Wait a minute. Camp says well, no, no prep fire for well, CA. They moved. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I missed something on that. Um, oh, you can. I suppose it makes sense because prepared fire means you're standing there taking aim and yeah. um, firing. Whereas if you're moving, you could yeah, you got non, non moving, non disordered. So yeah, if you were standing still, you could do prepared fire. But no, but, but I moved, can. So, yeah, you, yeah, you haven't yeah. moved. You can get yeah. it. So I you have a plus fire. one. I've got a plus two on our fire. Okay. Nothing else. We're, and we're looking on. What are we look on seven, seven six to eight. small arms, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and get the table up for everybody. All right, I'll wait for you to do that. Tell me when to roll. Oh, it's exciting. There we go. So the seven right. table, six to eight table. Eight um, plus one. Yeah. Here we go. An eight. Eight. Which is nine. a nine. Is a one Ooh. d. So I take a loss. Um, and I am disordered automatically, so I flip. So I well, fire not, back at you. Not yet, though, because you're firing back to, simultaneously. Yeah. So you're not disordered yet. No. So, uh, no. so I'm on the eight. I get a two plus two is a four, which is a D, which is a disorder check for you. So you roll against the top unit, which is a seven. Right, seven or less. Here we go. One. Yeah. Can't so they're fine. They survived that. So that was a very good, good trade. Yeah. Uh, you did very well there. Um, okay. So we both. Uh, we've both. So they. Trade now. Sorry. So now, they fired and moved. So therefore. They finished. Yeah. So you've got the fifty fourth North Carolina to still do. Do you have to put under... a shock marker on them or anything? Because there'd be shock afterwards when they're after uh, the firing. Yeah, so so you put a shock marker once you declare your shocks after move and fire. Oh, right. I think. You do that. Right, okay. I think. Yes. The fact they're adjacent doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go into shock. Yeah, that's up to you. Yeah. Okay. So I've got... What else have I got? Uh, 12th North Carolina with Johnston. 
that's a different brigade, isn't it? So yeah, no, you that, so so that's, that's so the fifty fourth North Carolina underneath Lewis is not doing anything then. Oh, sorry, I didn't know there was one. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy underneath there as well. Um, well, I could move him. Oh, what have we got here? We've got ten, and what is it? Fourteen. Sorry, I don't know what you what you're doing. Sorry, no, I'm talking talking to fifteen fifteen SPs back, isn't it? So yeah. Um, hmm. I wanted to move in in with those anyway, so we'll do that. We'll move. Do I have to take the uh, Lewis with me? Uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, because of the command yeah. thing. Yeah. So let's move him there. I mean, you don't have to. Lewis can move somewhere else, but. No, no, no. I'll keep yeah. him with the. And the again, boys. they'll have to rotate. They'll have to change faces yeah, okay. to match. I Is believe right? as you fired with the others, I think he has to go to the bottom of the stack. Yeah. That particular... Oh, crikey, how do we brigade. do that? Hold on. Uh, highlight highlight the, the, the counter you want, and then do down arrow on your keyboard. So highlight would be the top one, this yeah. one. Down arrow. Ah, right, okay. Is that done? Yep. Oh, brilliant, right. Okay, um... And I'll fire with that one, can I? Uh, no, because you fired seven out of that hex already. Oh, right. Okay. So, I mean, you Fair had enough. other people stacked there and they couldn't fire either. So, yep, gotcha. seven right. is the maximum you can do. Now, do we need to move uh, Ramza anywhere? Uh, you can move him oh. at any point in this whole activation. He, everybody's got a. All right, hold on. You, you just want to make sure that. he's within range of all of your brigade leaders. So Jackson, he's got a uh, a range of five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jackson. No, Jackson has a range of three. Ramsey has a range of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Rams has got to be in command range of Jackson, yeah? Uh, it'd be a good idea, yes. Yeah, I, I, so yeah I think the first turn on. you're fine. Why are there two Jacksons? Where? Oh, it's Johnson, isn't it? Johnson. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. It's nine o'clock at night. You know, I'm normally in bed with a cup of oval team by now. Right. Um, sorry. So Ramza is not able to get to Jackson. Um, yeah, when I mean, you could do. Oh, yeah, he, he's not within range at the moment. So you could stick him, say, in twenty-two twelve. Yeah, that would work. Okay, so we do that, and one, now two, three, four, he'd be he'd be in range of Vaughan as well. One, two, but presumably three. those guys are going to move. In which case, so yeah. I, I, what I would do is I'd move everybody and do and rounds the last. Out. Yes, yeah. yes, and then say. Right, yep. makes sense. So that's Lewis's lot done. Okay, so that's Lewis brigade, Lewis's brigade. Now you can do yep. shock. Okay, with that brigade. So you oh, declare shock you and you put a marker now on it. It's where you're going to do well, the shock. Marker's shock. Shock is there. I can't find it. You got one? Yeah, I've got one here. Oh, brilliant! Thanks. Right. Okay. Okay. So we move to. This would be interesting. Okay. Look. So we do. So um, we do a, what's known as a pre-shock resolution. So you did designate the target. You just did. Uh, you work out your strength. Hold on. Then... Where's that? Where's what? Pre-shock resolution. Uh, it's eleven point three. Oh, it's not or, on the table. Yeah, I think it probably is on the table somewhere. Oh, I'll just close them down. Um, I think... 
Yeah, there's a procedure. Oh yeah, perform the retreat before shot. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Pre-shock. Right. So first of all, designate all targets for shock and charges, which is what yep. we've done. Yep. Perform retreat before shock. Yep. What's that? So that's if I want to run away. So I can, right, I can, I can just give up the hex and I go, fine, thanks very much. I'll just back out. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. doesn't have to be against cavalry. It can be against yeah. infantry as well. Right. Okay. So if I'm under attack orders, I can't. If I'm under march orders, I can't. If I'm an artillery unit, I can't. And if yeah. I'm being shock attacked by mounted cavalry, i.e. a charge, uh, whether charging or not, I can't. Okay. Disordered right. units may retreat before infantry shock, after which they under... So I'm going to have to roll for my morale again if uh, if I back out, because my right. troops might just go, well, I've had enough of this kind of thing. Yeah. If you want me to run away, I'll run away. Thanks very much. I'll just keep going. Yeah. Um, so whether I want to do that. So I don't. Okay. okay. Green so, attack, attack a commitment check. Yeah. So if you are green and you know, um, you'd have a little green next to your effect, a little G next to your effectiveness right. um, number, the middle number, uh, You, they have to take a morale check, a special morale check, if they're actually going to do it or they're going to go, whoa, oh, what's this, what? combat? I didn't sign up yeah. for this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So the defenders pre-shock cohesion check. So yeah. I have to then now take a sh a cohesion check myself. All right. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so I this is if I stand. So I could voluntarily back out. Now it's whether the troops back out anyway myself uh, 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 themselves. All right. So this is to, this is what you're checking yeah. the middle number. So for, it's the yeah. number. So I roll against six. So yeah. I roll the dice, a four. Yeah. I stand. Okay. So I have stood. Then, if I stand, there's pre-shock reaction fire. So I can now fire at you because you you're up. coming right up at me. Okay. Yeah. So I am worth uh, seven points again because that's a max. Okay. Um, yeah. I am plus one for rifles. Uh, I am not prepared fire, uh, and I'm also disordered. So it's plus one for rifles, minus one for disordered. So it's a straight roll on the seven. Okay. So let's get that check. Uh, let's get that uh, uh, that chart up. I've uh, missed that chart. Where the hell? Uh, sorry, let me just. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, fire. That's the one there. So, uh, so I'm six to eight with no modifier. On the small arms, right? Uh, let me just shrink that down. A nine. Oh. Ouch. Ouch nine indeed. With uh, no modifier. It's a straight nine. A nine on six to eight is a one D. So your top unit takes a loss, and automatically disorders. So, so that's the six North Carolina flips over, and he's only got four strength points left. Uh, flip, and how do we do that? We need. I'm doing that for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you Vassal. go. There's your four. Right. So that had, and we get that on. We put that on the top, and then go down one. Oh, does that go right to the bottom? That goes right that? to the bottom. So if you go left and right, it moves up and down the stack. Is that yeah, right? that's it. That's it. You got it. Right. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So now, because you disordered with a top, the units below you must also take a cohesion check. All three of them? Yeah. So three lots of seven or less. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right, first one. Zero. Zero is zero, zero. Is zero or zero ten, I can't remember. Zero is zero, I think. Dice. So many games to play. Uh, is oh, a zero. Yeah. Is a zero, so you're fine. Zero is yeah. a zero. So, second one? Yeah. Eight. Bugger. Okay, so he is 
disordered as well, so he flips over. Let's find him. Uh... That's 57. Oh, you were going down the stack, were you? Well, either no, way. I've got 57th. 57 yeah, North Carolina flips over, yeah. So that, that flips right. And another one, yeah, last... Camps is another 1D. He's getting brutal. It certainly is. Yeah. And Don't muck about, you know. So now the 54th at Seven. the bottom. That's fine. Seven. Oh, yeah. I forgot to uh, defender pre shock die modifiers. What? Uh, what? What? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, the unit is disordered. Is. Oh, yeah, for my. Um, sorry, it was my morale check. Uh, so, yeah, I should have had a plus one on my thing, which wouldn't have made any difference. I was. Uh, I easily made it. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, that's fine. So that's that. That's your pre-shock reaction fire. Uh, yes. So did he make it? Yes. Yes. Okay. He, got, he got a seven, and he yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now we've done that. Uh, we then go on to the actual shock resolution now. Um... Oh, I see. Yes, the defenders pre-shock DRMs. They're all okay. here. Right. Right. Yeah. So you should, we determine the shock die roll modifiers. Yeah. So uh, let's. Uh, where's that? Where are they? So they're down that the bottom of that. Uh, um, well, the odd ratio Daryl modifiers are down the yeah. bottom right of that column. Yeah. So that's what we look. So at, it's the it? odds. So we look at the odds first. So I have. Uh, oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have a one there. I should have a seven there. Hang on. Uh, I lost one unit. Oh, so right, I'm yeah. so I'm seven. You are five, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. So it's a two to yep. one. Yeah. Yep. 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 So a two to one on that. That's two. Uh, two to one on that. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Two to one on. That's it. That one is. Um, is plus two. Yeah. So you have a plus two on the dice. Okay. Then we um have uh, the die roll adjustments here. Okay. So if we look at position modifiers, that there isn't any because you're in my front and I'm in your front, yeah. so that doesn't matter. Okay. Right. So the die roll adjustments pro attacker get the odds ratio. It's a plus two. Is any yeah. defender disordered? Yes. So it's plus one. So One. plus three, uh, charge benefit. So, okay. So um, with charging, um, I believe if you wanted to charge, you would. It says here, you can't do it because it says applies to both infantry cavalry units that move before shock and do not fire. And do not fire. That's right. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. So you get the plus one, but you don't get the fire. Um, yeah. Which, uh, again, um, dubious. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're plus three are you stacked with an aggressive leader so does your oh, leader yeah. have an A on him, yeah. he's got an N so that doesn't help uh, terrain chart um, this is in the open so there's nothing there yeah. and you're not charging lancers so you've got, so plus three for pro attacker, for pro defender um, odds ratio benefit uh, negative so negative two um so I have minus two. Yeah. Any attacker disordered? Yes. So that's that's another minus one. Hang on, that doesn't that doesn't work. That, that doesn't work out. Uh hang on, odds ratio benefit. Um if it's a benefit, I think, then I count it, but it's not a benefit for me. So you get plus two, but I don't get anything. Because it's not in my favour, I think. That do it doesn't have a doesn't have an effect. It doesn't count twice. So, oh, I see. If it was two to one in my favour, so so say say if it was one to two, I'd get the minus two, I think. Uh, you wouldn't get anything. Yeah, you know? the pluses go to okay. you. The minuses come to me. Okay. Right. So there is an attacker disorder. The attacker does have a brigadier. 
the attacker doesn't have advance orders and there's no each success or continued shock or anything per, per terrain chart, nothing. Okay. So, um, and then attacker and defender fatigue. So you have a fatigue of one on that brigade. So that's a minus one as well. So you had a plus two for the odds, plus yeah. one for defender disordered. I had a minus one for attacker disordered and a minus one for your fatigue. Yeah, so that comes out as a plus one, I think. Right, I get how it works now. It comes off. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. you're getting a benefit because you're you're knocking yeah. off my pluses. That's yeah? right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, that's it. And there's no mounted cavalry, so we don't have to do anything else. So you're on the shock resolution table on a oh. plus one. Plus one. Here we go. Six with the plus one. Six is defender retreats. Defender unit retreats one hex and is disordered. So I go back one hex. So I'll get go, you gone. Um, take, take uh, get rid of the shock marker. Um, take my stack back, and I will disorder. Don't check for disorder, but disorder. Okay. So therefore, I look at the second, right. uh, second ta um, uh, disorder table. Because you've all you're already disordered. Yes. Yeah. So. Sure. Um, so this was shock table results. So for infantry and dismounted cavalry, so you roll a UDD, so that's the disorder check. If I Where's pass, this? so in the second disorder table, it's about two thirds of the way down. Shock results, gotcha. Yeah. So, gotcha. so yeah. I now roll, and if I pass, I lose an SP, and then I retreat one to two hexes. <laughs> Bennett. If I fail, I rout. Okay. Oh. All right. And what so does that mean? Gone uh, yeah, effectively, I run away right. completely. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that roll. Uh, so I am on a six. Oh. A nine. Oh. So that's a fail. Oh. So that's a rout. Dear, oh dear. So with a rout, let's. Uh... Route. Uh, an infantry or cavalry unit that routes is removed from the map and placed in its core commander core command box is eligible to be returned when its brigade is in reserve. Okay, so I mean, unless I put my entire division in reserve, which is very unlikely, he ain't coming back. So uh, that gets moved to um, my. Brigade box, my division box, which is Averill. So this is routed units. So he's there. And there's um, no way to bring them back. They're gone for good, aren't they? Uh, for this battle, yes, because yeah. I would have to put every, my entire division into reserve. Oh, actually, no, sorry, the brigade. So I'd have to put, um, what is it? Who is it? Pal, um, yeah. Um, Yeah, um, Duval's oh, uh, Duval's brigade. Um, oh, he's a um, sorry, he's a uh, he's a division commander. So where's um... oh, I see. He's the um, he's the equivalent of my Ramser, isn't he? So where's your well, Averill actually is is the overall commander. I presume Duval is my brigade commander, even though he's a two star. Oh right. Because I haven't got anybody else. Oh, I see. Yeah. Two two West Virginia. Let me actually let me let me just check the setup. In case, have we missed somebody? Um, Rutherford's farm. Oh, got Duval down here as the second second army of West Virginia. Here is the second army of West Virginia. Is this the wrong counter? Because he got the wrong counter. Hang on, let me let me look. I might have put the wrong counter down. What for Duval? Uh, yeah, it might be the wrong Duval. Right. <laughs> uh, Union OAB. He's thinking I'm not supposed to be here. No, that's not it. 
Uh, let's have a, just a quick look. Duval's division. Hayes. Duval. Yeah, I think I meant to have this guy instead. Right. That yeah, because it's, it's Duval 2-2 two, two, AVW, not 2 AVW. So he's actually an aggressive leader. Oh. So he should be there. Right, so if I put Duval's brigade, which is basically all, well, mostly all my infantry, um, all those brown guys in reserve, then I can bring him back. But right. uh, that's it. Uh, delete him. Don't need him. Okay, that's better. Okay. Right, so um, back to the combat. So I believe you must advance. So, oh, that's shocking to get rid of, can't we? Yeah, and then... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so all Victorian units that... Uh, victorious units that can must now advance into the vacated hex. So anything up to 15 strength points can adv must advance. Right, I'm just trying to turn that. So they've all got to go one hex in there. Yeah, where where the defender was. Yeah. You may change now, facing if you wish. Right. I do wish. They have to. Oh. Because. So yeah, it's probably worth just rotating Lewis just to make sure he lines up with everybody else. Yeah, he's just annoying me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, uh. Now, if I turn to face Duval in the in the farm, well, you you are facing Duval. Oh right, and the but you're not facing 14th. the fourteenth. Uh, is it the fourteenth? Yeah, fourteenth. They are just. Um, they're, attack, I, they're attacking my flank if they wish to attack. Um, they, I think they have the option now to change their facing to meet you because you've now come adjacent to them on a flank. Yeah. Um, so this is a reaction. I'm thinking they are disordered, so they've got to rally before they can... Well, no, they can still fire at me, can't they? Uh, so he has to take a morale check to do so. That's because I've moved adjacent to him. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, so I take uh, I have to take a, disor a disorder check, and if I fail, they're disordered, but they're already disordered. So, be a second so it's quite risky uh, to do this. Um, but I think I kind of have to, so I'm going to try and change facing. Right. So are you going to stay on that facing? Because you, you, when you move in, well, you decide I, your facing. If I move, I'm going to, I'm going to be flanked by one of those either side of me, aren't I? So. Um, yes, uh, but the my... farm's probably an important thing. <laughs> yes, what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And so maybe you can stay... get your sharpshooters to keep the 14th West Virginia in. Out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, um, so I'm going to attempt to change facing. So I need a six or less. Six or less. Yes. Oh, rotter. Right, okay. Well so, done. So I now face that way. Yeah, I don't think you can... Yeah, so you can't react because I've, there's somebody... Uh, Duval's in your front hex. Mm -hmm. Now, I can also... Um, I think... Face change uh, Duval's guys as well. 
in the in the farm, yeah. Yeah. Um Okay, in fact, I've got artillery there. Um, Can you change artillery that quickly? Facing? It says a unit undergoes a UDD when it does so. Infantry and cavalry only, not artillery. Yeah. If it fails. They're heavy. Trying to move them around quick. Okay, so artillery have the additional bit of moving in reaction. So he, yeah, so the artillery could actually move. Can it? Oh. Uh, it's phase of those known because to. Um, Doesn't say an artillery unit can't change facing, but it says when the unit undergoes a UDD, the unit undergoes a UDD when it does so, infantry and cavalry only, not artillery. So that means that artillery can't, or it doesn't. Well, I'm, oh, they don't roll. No, they can't. I think it's that they can't do it quick enough because they're big, heavy lumps but, of metal. But that, that that doesn't make sense if I can actually move out the hex, but I can't actually change facing. Oh, right. No, it doesn't make sense. Um, that's a little, shall we say, um, artillery can reface this camp. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't okay. know what this not artillery. So... Yeah, right. so an artillery don't take a UDD, so they don't take a check. They just, so they just do it automatically. Yeah, because they can just there's right. a, there's a few guns and they can just wheel. Um, okay, but they're disordered anyway. Um, is being disordered a problem? Doesn't look like it is. So that entire stack can reorder but the 91st Ohio have to take a check okay so if I rotate um, I'm going to move Duval <coughs> back so they're all uh, actually he's Ah, come on. <laughs> Here we go. So Duval's point. Everybody's pointing in the right direction now. Yes. So yep. uh, the ninety first Ohio needs to take a check on seven. Seven or less, He's fine. right? He's oh. fine. So they both react. Well, there's been quite a lot of things going on in that hex. <laughs> yeah. You suddenly see yeah. the rebels there. They're going to uh, react and turn. Um, uh, okay, so uh, that's I think the end of the shot. So you've done, done what you've done. Good. Um, not, not, not a devastatingly bad. Yeah. Move for that. Okay, so one thing you have in shock, which you didn't qualify for, but you could if you rolled very, very enough, you get a thing called continued shock. So, oh right. Um, so therefore, what you can do is you can shock again. And you will get negative modifiers, but you could have quite a big chain. So you could like tear through a whole load of weak units. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, yeah. It's similar to Men of Iron has something like that where you, yeah. you can carry on. You can't stop yourself. Okay. Now, now the bad news. Oh my God. Okay. Right. So 
At the conclusion of each shock attack, or the end of the series of continued shocks, mm -hmm. the additional results below are applied in the order listed. Um, so, all non-disordered attacking infantry and dismounted cavalry are now automatically disordered. So the guys who weren't disordered are now disordered. This is just not good for cohesion of your unit when you're battering Yankees, I'm afraid. So 21st um, and 54th and that on the carrier are now disordered. Okay. 54th Each of... and 21st. Hold on, let me do that. So they flip over. Uh, and that one. There we go. Okay. Now, each stack of attacking units with at least one already disordered unit suffers a one SP loss. Call them stragglers if you wish. So effectively, one SP comes comes off from somebody because of the mess. Right. Uh, after they're disordered or before they're disordered? Uh, it doesn't make a difference, does it? Um, yeah, so it's somebody. It doesn't matter. It's just one SP from somewhere runs away. Uh, you, you get to choose the unit. Let's make it the 54th North Carolina. So where are the markers? Uh, I'll get it for you. Thank you. That's going to be a number three. Yeah, so you can flip it over to increase. Yeah, right. and it goes on the bottom of the stack because that's the 54th North Carolina is at the bottom. Uh, the bottom of the stack, so I'll pop it there. I like it and move the thing down like that. Is that right? Down arrow. Look at that. It. Yep, that's it. Yep, lovely. So All this right. is so this is the nature of civil war combat. So, um, it it was very rare that you had sort of smashing uh, results. What actually yeah. happened it because the attacker just falls apart anyway. You have this automatic disorder. So. So, for example, now, if you shocked again, then at the end of the shock, even if you did quite well, you'd lose a disorder again kind of thing. So you're always disordered at the end of shock combat. It doesn't matter how, how good you do. you will All your units will become disordered if they weren't already. So basically, yeah. as, the, as Johnny Reb, you should not shock. No, no, no. It's, it's both sides. This is just civil oh. combat. So it's just as soon as you end up getting the bayonets out and start really fighting... Um, you lose cohesion. You you just yeah, lose control good. of what's going on. Some yeah. people run off and charge after somebody else. Some some people hide. Some people you know, it it just you you kind of the the the, uh, the, the unit it's becomes be, yeah. becomes a bit of a mess. So you haven't routed or anything, but you are now disordered because you've done a shock, uh, and that's right. the that's the kind of bad news of shock combat. But you can see, I mean, effectively, one of my units has just vanished. Yeah. So yeah, that's quite good in comparison. Yeah, yeah, it's a trade off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So that is um, Lewis's uh, go. It Lewis's brigade. So now you've still got Johnston's, Lilies, Vaughan's, and Jackson's. What do you want to do with them? Let's have a think. Uh, da 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 da. Two, got two, four, five, three, five, six, seven. Mm. Yeah, Cam, end of shock step, in, indeed. That's the. Um, Is that what it's called? Disorder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so applied the po bit. Yeah. Po applied post shock automatic disorder, that's what it's called. So imagine if you lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. Yes. <clears throat> now then, uh, this chap right up here, that cavalry, first, uh, what's that, TN Tennessee, is it? What first Tennessee, yes. Um, so he's 
uh, what is it? The each part fifth, of Vaughan. It's part of Vaughan stuff, is it? It's difficult to see, but the, yes, it looks like the first cavalry. Yeah, fifth of the first cavalry is Vaughan. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he's purple, he's isn't not, he? Yeah, he's not in command though, is he? In range that lone. Uh, I believe everybody's in command at the first on the first turn. Right. Well, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, to activate Vaughn. Vaughn, okay. Yeah. I just want to, not a lot we can do with them yet. So um, Vaughn doesn't have any fatigue, so that's something. So. Hmm. Ah, just, just realised, actually, I mean, it doesn't have any relevance for what we did here. Everything here was fine. Um, but as far as um, Johnston's goes... Uh, remember, you've got minus one movement point because of the fatigue one. Fatigue, right, okay. And you're halved on attack order as well, so you've got a movement rate of two. I won't, I won't be shocking with them, I don't think. No. Uh, what have we got here? I'm just checking. Woods Cavalry 3. They've got a movement of nine, is that right? Nine. Yes, that's correct, yes. Uh, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, we're going to move this lot here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can face change once, yeah? Yeah. Those. What's that? Oh, come on. And we're going to move these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what have I done? Oh. There we go. And oh, what have I done? Hold and on. the first tendency, is he going to stay where he is? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just mucking about. I'm clicking off the thing and of course it's trying to load it on there and the first Tennessee will just bring them what have we got here locking together so the stacking limit is well no we'll keep we'll just keep them there for a minute I think I don't want to bring them out on their own, exposed. So, yeah, we'll keep them there. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you're done, Vaughn. Next brigade. Uh, what have we got left? Now, Lily is on reserve. Now, I have to wait until next turn to yeah. get that fatigue. So, so he's end, just... Yeah. Just so he's just left as is. Yes. We've got. But well, you have to because he is on reserve and you didn't change the order. No, that's fine. So. Yeah. I want to get get them in for next turn. Um, so you'll we'll have to have Johnston uh, and Jackson. Uh, what have we got here? These are very weak. High six, seven, seven. What have they got? They've got. What are the cavalry armed with when they're mounted? Swords. Uh, so yours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they they have no guns, and you don't dis you you have no dismounted. Your cavalry doesn't get off their horses. Right. Okay. So they can just do shot combat, and that's it. 
Well, I think that's what we'll do then. We'll activate Jackson. Right, so remember with advance, you can't go adjacent. Okay, so you're in advance. Oh, or, yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. So they can, they, they, they can move up and they've got full movement, but what they can't do is go adjacent to... No, there's no point. Um, I should have changed their orders. I don't want to move out in the middle and then do nothing. Um, so they can charge from here if they've had the right orders, couldn't they? Um, so charge is just a type of shock combat. Yeah. So I mean, they're just going. Yeah. I can't move adjacent. That's what I wanted to do because I That's didn't right. change so you the have to be attack orders. But remember, with attack orders, you get half mm. movement. So your movement would be four and a half. So actually, Rounded. you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get adjacent. Okay. Well, let's so, do that then. So let's you move, will need move to move up. forward to then prepare for the charge. You can't just kind of sweep out. Sweep in from the hills, kind of thing, um, long distance away. Two. Yep, that'll do. So you're going to there, right? That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And so, just. So Johnson. Johnson left then. Yeah. And these are. These guys have two movement points. Fatigue. Yeah, so they're halved because they're attacking and minus one because they are fatigued. So they can move and fire. They can move and fire and they can shock. They can do exactly what everything that Lewis did. But Lewis only that. moved two movement all these guys only moved two movement points anyway. Yeah. But Johnson's a little bit further away. So, so two movement points instead of six is what you're saying. So we'll move these. Hold on. They're in the woods. So they're going to get... What's the benefit of the woods? Uh, woods. Benefit? Yeah, defensive for, benefit. For fire, um, it's for minus defense. one. For shock, it's minus one. So you would get a minus one firing into my woods there. Uh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three. What they got? They've got rifles. Yeah. Sorry, guys and girls, because uh, this is all new to me. Uh, that's right. I say it, it is a learning game for one of us, and a little. Well, bit, yeah, me. <laughs> quite a refresher for me as well. Yeah. Um, one, two, so uh, we'll we we'll, we'll, move we'll, out. We'll, we'll, I'm going to yeah. move out. I'm going to just fire because they've got rifled musk. Um, what have they got? Rifled muskets. Yes. Which don't really work unless you're a couple of hexes away. Yeah, they tail off very, One. very badly. Uh, although you do have sharpshooters, so sharpshooters are oh, a lot where, better. Where, where? So that that first North North Carolina, fourth first North Carolina battalion. It's it's got an SS on it. It's a sharpshooter unit. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so sharpshooters, um, Confederate ones. Um, I can't see that anywhere. Is that uh, just in the book? so? It's it's actually in the eighteen sixty four battle book. Right. Because they didn't have sharpshooters in eighteen sixty two. There was there, there were there there were sort of there, there were only for certain battles. Um, so to change facing, you don't roll the disorder. Um, wow. You get a plus two uh, when firing, but not moving. So if you stand them still, they get a plus two on their fire value, but range or, or still... Um, it's rubbish, yeah. Uh, they don't get prepared fire, though. Um Shop shooters, if they're under advance or open orders, can fire and move. So, um, uh, as long as they don't uh, use less than half their movement, um, and they get a reduced bonus plus one instead of plus two normally, uh, you get an extra hex range, and um, they can also 
um, if they get any result on the fire table against a hex with a leader, then you have to roll for the leader loss, not just right. when there's a casualty. Okay, so so you could fire with him, and he, he would, you know, he could stay there blazing away, and he gets his plus two. But anyway, where I am now, uh, wherever you are, I'm just, just saying you've got you've got an extra hex range, and you get a plus two on, two, on your uh, on your fire roll anyway for him. So that three away, one, two, three becomes two away. Sorry. What are you saying? I get an extra extra hex. So your range is six, not five. So normal with the rifles, uh, it's a range of five. Sorry. You actually have a range of six. Yeah, but look at the state of that. Yeah. Uh, but what I wouldn't probably do is I wouldn't try and shock with them because you're not using no. the best benefit. I just want to fire and see yeah. if we can do something. Yeah. Um, so I was going to move them two, so I get the benefit of the plus one. Yeah. So I'll move them there, and that's their two movement points. You said they've only got two movement points. Yeah. But I think so if you to get the benefit, um, do they have to fire on their own? Okay. So anyway, yeah, you've moved up. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't like it when you go quiet, so it's because no, it means you're okay. falling into my trap. He's falling into my trap. Yes. Okay, so we'll do the same here. We'll move these forward. We're actually firing downhill, aren't we, at you? Yeah. Uh, three... That's one. So um, I'm yep. going to fire at Johnston with my artillery on approach fire. So you moved within three All right. of my artillery. So he can do, in your activation, he can do one approach fire. So You've got to change facing, though, haven't you? You can do nope. that? No, I'm facing straight at you. What, Johnson? Yeah. You're facing left to right. You're facing left. Um, no, not. Devals. I'm, Devals. I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking Devals. about battery F. Yeah. Bat oh, sorry. Yeah. I keep forgetting you've got more than one. Yeah, the, full, the, the first Ohio is facing that way, but the sorry. Uh, battery F of the first West Virginia yeah. is actually facing straight at you with six six yeah. points. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Okay. I'll get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so... Um, uh, oh, let's check the range. So it's it's two. They are um, they are Napoleons. So I think it's a plus two. Uh, let me just get that that one up. Napoleons plus two, yeah. Yeah, Napoleons uh, two hex range is plus two. So we've got that. Mm. Um, and then with the fire, um, they are two hexes away. So it's on the small arms table. They are six points uh yeah six strength uh, strength points all about uh, them plus two for the range effect um you're in the open i think so there's no effect there yeah um uh, the terrain you are up a slope That's no no effect. Mm. Um, I think that's probably it. It's just a plus two. So I'm on six plus two. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot about them. A zero. Oh. Ha! Rubbish. Still, that's still D minus one. Yeah, but you should be fine. You've got. Uh, yeah, you're on, you're on a seven. So that's. I've got to throw seven. With a plus, uh, with a minus one, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yes, that's right. Minus one on your dice roll. Yeah. Uh, I've got to throw seven. Or, well, what are you firing at? You're firing at. Well, you only got one unit in that house, the 12th North Carolina. Seven. Right. What have we got? Seven. Minus one is six. You're fine. Are you fine on seven anyway? Okay. So that yeah. has no effect. You can oh, carry dude. on. Because I completely forgot about them. Yeah, yes. Uh, you can only fire once, though, can't you? You're not going to pull that stunt again, are you? Yeah. Yeah, you are, or yeah, you can't. You fired. You can't reaction fire again, or we can. No. Is that rea was that reaction fire? Uh, that was approach fire. Well, right, okay. So no, you I can do that. I can do it once per activation. Right. One. Do I have to fire these and then move the next unit? Uh, yes. So I should really let's move that back there. Because I oh yeah, oh, no, the, that the, the leader gives you a dice one modifier as well. That's true. So I think I'm all oh, right. I should have I should have fired with the the first North Carolina the shot. Shot and, shoulders, yeah. Third. So I'll do that if I may. Okay. Who are you firing at? I'm going to fire at. I'm going to fire at your artillery. I'm sorry, you know. The stack, I'm okay, yeah. Say, uh, yeah. Stack, yeah, the next. Yeah, um, well, you, you'll affect the 34th Ohio, actually, but yeah. Yeah, they're on okay. the top, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So you have the sharpshooters, so that's a plus two. Right. Uh, the range, I think, for rifle is a plus one. So that's plus yeah, three. Yeah, but two away. I don't believe there's... Anything else? What have we got here? We've got four, haven't we? Four to five column. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, with a plus, what would you say? Uh, it's a plus three because plus three. you've got the uh, sharp you've got the sharpshooters for plus two, and, and you're at plus one because your rifles distance. Right. So I've got a I've got a fire back at you as well, but. With a return fire, but off you go. Plus three. Nine. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. A nine plus three is a twelve. Yeah. Which is two a two D. So um they end up with only three SP. That's a disorder, automatic disorder. And an automatic disorder. Oh, two is the oh yeah, gotcha. Two is the strength you lose, right? Okay. Um, which means that the uh, artillery need to take a a roll as well. He's on. They're on a seven. Oh, they fail as no. well. Oh. Come on, you rebels! Why isn't he flipping? My dad used to be in a band when he was young in the 50s, and the name of the band was uh, Johnny Reb. <laughs> I can't flip that unit for some reason. Oh, that old chestnut. What, the old uh, artillery? Yeah, it won't, it won't flip. No. Hmm. Okay, well, we just have to remember it. It's disordered, I'm afraid. Uh, don't know why that's happening. Good old vassal. Uh, okay, and the shot back to you was five um, plus one, I think, wasn't it? Plus one for rifles, and that's it. So, on the five table, plus one. Uh, let's get the five table up. Four to five plus one. One then. Zero oh. again. <laughs> Bloody I hell. shouldn't laugh. <laughs> uh, zero is zero. Nothing happens. Oh. Okay. So now oh. you've got um, the kind of Johnston you could fire now. Yeah, I'm going to fire. I'm going to fire again at the um... 34th Ohio. I could. Or I could fire at Duval in the. Um... In the farm. Uh, yes, you could. 
It's only three though, isn't it? So it's not great, is it? Well, you know, it is as it is. Well, if you roll a nine. Then... Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to just let them stand there. So sure. yeah, we're I'm just deciding what to. Hmm. Uh, you, get no, plus, you get a plus one for flanking fire as well. Because I'm in the flank. Yeah, so yeah, it'll, okay. be, it'll be a plus two sh shot. Plus two shot, then. We'll do that, then. Okay, we're on Total the Carolina. Three. We got... Do we get anything for me, leader? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Oh, fatigue. No. What does that mean? What does that affect? Uh, oh, fatigue. Um, that minus oh, one. It is a minus one, yeah. Actually, the other one should have been a minus one as well. I mean, never mind. I forgot to put it on. So, yeah, it should be minus one for that. So, it's so it's plus one. Yeah, it's plus one because it's flanking plus fire. Uh, yeah. So, it's a right, grand total one. of plus one. Plus one on the three column. On the three column, right. indeed. Here we go. Seven, eight. Oops, not that one. D plus two. Oh, I seem to have lost it. Um, D plus two. So yes. I have pl plus two on the dice, and they are... Uh, uh, who's on the top? It's uh, the... The artillery. The artillery, but there's a leader gives uh, plus, that's plus three on the dice. Uh, yeah, that'll do. At least a zero is good this time. Damn. <laughs> Three zeros. Thank you, Basil. Um, okay. Uh, you've still got a couple of guys to move. Yep, now we're going to move one, two. Yep. And what have we got here? One, two. We're going to fire at the first first west virginia, west virginia. okay not yeah. great not great Dism strength, dismount, but just... dismounted cavalry there yeah okay so that's three plus one yeah and i, I get to fire back yep 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 three plus one seven seven is d plus one mm-hmm it's plus one on the dice. Uh, and it's a six. Yeah, they fail. Yeah. Uh, but they get shot back anyway, so that's six. Uh, they've got breach carbines. Have they now? Breach load carbines at two hexes oh, is zero. Oh, that's oh, a right, zero. Right, right. Oh. Um, so uh, that's just a straight roll then, isn't it? On yep. the six? On the six table. Let's go for another zero. Oh, a one. Well, that's something. Uh, so that's a D minus two. So I have to do a morale check, whatever you call it, on seven minus, what was it? What are you, six? You've got a yeah. You've got a a seven, and it's a minus two on the dice. So you need to minus two. So I just less. forgot. Yeah. There we go. Seven minus yeah, two five. five. Right. Okay. And then I'll move these out. One, two. Is it okay to? What have they got? Rifles again. Three, minus two. Could I fire through the fifth North Carolina to get to your first West Virginian? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Um, Even if I shout duck. Uh, intervening combat units block small arms fire all ranges and artillery fire at canister ranges. Right. So, no. No, in which case then I will fire at your leader stack. That those uh, cavalry there. Yeah. We're only at two, three. so I don't expect. You're at two, and you're at three hex range for your rifles. 
three hex range or, for your uh, rifles is, that, is a minus two. Is that been a bit daft? Well, you could go low on ammo, but that's about it. I mean, well, I get to fire back. Yes, yeah, what I'm thinking. You're yeah. seven, aren't you? So, um, but you're going to fire at me anyway. Let's do it. Okay. So that's three minus two, but you're firing at mounted cavalry. Yeah. So I think. Um, you get something for that? It's not a mass target, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. I don't think they're a mass target necessarily. It might be. I can't see anything in the adjustments uh, thing. Yeah, eight SPs or more. So no. So nothing, nothing special there. So just the minus. So it's a two minus two. Two minus two. Oh great. That's a one. one. That's nothing. Okay, uh, I definitely well, will fire you can back. Fire back though, can't you? Yeah. So Spencer carbines at three hex range are minus one. Um, I am mounted cavalry, so that's another minus one. So I've got a minus two. So I'm seven minus two. Right. Zero or one this time. Four. Mm. Four. Two. Two is a D minus one. So seven minus one. Three. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's Johnston taken care of. Because there's no shock. Uh, and I you've believe... moved everybody else. You can move Ramza now if you want to. Uh... It's right. not relevant for the moment because it's only it only count for next turn. You've still got another what, activation what, to come. What are the out of command um, penalties? Uh, you get one less activation, but you always get one. So if a, if a brigade is at, out out of command, yeah. then if you've got two activations, you pick one of your activations. And they don't move. Okay. Okay. Or if you have a unit which isn't within the brigade, when that brigade activates, if it's activating twice, you only get to move it once. You ignore it for the okay. either right. the first or second. You get to choose which one it is. But thing is, this distance, this Ramza five, is yes. not hexes. It's movement terrain. Points. Well, it's, it's movement points. Yes. Especially so, woods is the one thing, one of the, one of the few things that, um, yeah, it's two it's two movement points per hex. So he only goes two hexes in the woods. Well, what we got here? Who's that? That's uh... Luminic, right? Well, I think I'll. He's got a movement. Now, how many? What, I, what, I would at that, least put him on the road. Yeah. What, what's his movement allowance? Is it five? Uh, leaders are. Um, it's no. The big leaders are forty. I think these guys are they ten or twelve. All oh, right. So we're okay. Uh, moving leaders. So you say put him on the road. Why? Um, but, well, because you, a, a road is half movement point for for uh, for command. So that helps. I got gotcha. you. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure you can do anything about Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. I think um, he's just going to have to be on his own for a turn. Yeah. Um, Let's put him here then. Okay. Yeah, Jackson's going to be tough as well, I'm afraid. But uh... well, one, two, three, four. 
Yeah, five. Um, is it just roads or railways as well? Uh, I don't think railways actually do anything in the game. Oh, right. They're, they're kind of they're kind of just interesting. Decoration. Yeah, they 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 absolutely have no effect. Oh. It's just interesting stuff. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it like that. I should have moved Jackson. Now I'm I'm learning. You see, learning. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. We, I know. I'm I'm yeah. I'm picking things up as well. I've forgotten. Yeah. No, it's Completely. good. It's good. All right. Um, right. We we just got gone five past the two hours mark. So I think we probably want to um, keep it there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll. Just uh, yeah, hold it there, and uh, and carry on um, next weekend. Yeah, that'd be so, great. So, yeah, uh, so, so apologies it, for the slowness, but again, it's 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 one and a half learning game here. Well, one one and a third learning game here. So um, I'm getting back in. And the other thing is with these live streams, of course, is that uh, if you're playing once a week for a couple of hours, you tend to forget what the hell was going on a week earlier. Um, but that's just the breaks, really. So. Um, but hopefully it's uh, sufficiently entertaining. We we had some shock combat. We had some yeah, rebel staving cool. in the line and causing a rout uh, as well. So that was all uh, that was all good. We have got a lot of disorder going on. Um, so that would be uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully there's a bit of action here for you. Yeah, good. Okay. So next week we'll start with drawing a chip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's probably only one left. I think it's yours, isn't it? Probably. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not one of mine because I've only have four anyway. I can only ever have four. So, so again, if it's one of mine, then something's gone wrong with the battle module. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, thanks for everyone staying with it, and uh, thanks Sawyer for helping out. And yeah, absolutely. Else that, um, yes, right. indeed. Yeah. Yeah, thanks yeah, lots for of help watching. from the uh, uh, from the chat there, and uh, as yeah. I hope it's uh, hope it's been entertaining. Um, uh, hopefully we will have uh, the uh, Battle of Shevardino on Wednesday uh, evening afternoon uh, with Jordan if um, if he can give enough life support to his dog um, and, uh, and and can attend so uh, watch the watch Twitter or the channel or Consim world uh, community for an update on that uh, it should be the usual time and hopefully we can get Napoleon moving uh it's been very lackluster so far with this battle and uh that'll be our next time and then uh again next week next weekend uh we're back with this so uh until then um last word for you rough yeah so thanks as always please for for teaching us thanks to the chat for sticking with us uh yeah. and if you want to see more nonsense before uh we're back here again always pop along to the uh, uh the war room uh, yes yeah. We do some, every Saturday. And some of your, oh, um, maybe some of your, your Boog River stuff. Oh, well. of course, yes, Boog, yes. But hopefully, I've got another unboxing coming up from my GMT Sal next week um, video. Also, as I've been told, it's the across the Boog River, not the Bug River. Um, I was, uh, yeah, what's the word? Informed. You, you, you boogered it up. I boogered it up. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, the pronunci pronunciation. Yeah, so that's that's fine. I'll do it from now on. I'll okay. do it from now on. Across the Boog River, and yeah. um, from VUCA Simulations. Hopefully, yeah. part three next week as well. If I can get everything sorted. Great so stuff. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Good. So thanks. hopefully we'll see you all then, and uh, for what's <clears throat> coming on our channel as well. So until then, bye for now. <laughs>